If we have one more song to listen to, we might as well make it a good one, right? We're going in. Songs of Admiral, or Song of Admiralty, rather. Welcome back, everybody, to the finale here of uh, Roman Empire. <laughs> Basilius, been a fun run. I have uh, thoroughly enjoyed this, and I'm really glad to have you guys here. Uh, okay, I guess we're going to lose some professionalism. <laughs> Jeez, oh, Pete. It's just five generals. It's not a big deal. You see how much professionalism we have has given us nice bonuses to our damages, which is really solid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split these guys, attack half here and half here. Uh, that way I guarantee I win at least one, and uh, we actually won both. So all is well. Now, looks like we're winning sieges over here, which is great. Let's uh, kick their fleet out here. And uh, now all we need is uh, these two provinces to form the Roman Empire, and we're going to be able to do that before too long. I am very confident of that. So if you guys have enjoyed the run up to this point, I am so genuinely thankful that you have decided to, to hang out with me here. And uh, oh my gosh, why is there so many men here? What are you doing? I have really enjoyed having you guys here. So uh, I want to thank you. Definitely, definitely want to thank you. All right. Let's split the armies here. There's a quarter of a million right here. Why? I don't know, man. I do not know, but I'm going to pull them back one province and they won't be able to touch me. And they're going to stand all their men there and take a ton of attrition because they are stupid. Like, what is this? Why is there so many men here, bro? This does not make sense. It really doesn't make sense. All right. Let's get these guys over here to get them off of this fort. I'm really glad that I have this fort here. Right, let's also get an admiral or a general here. Um, not a general, a leader, an advisor is what I was trying to say. All right, very good. Look at this. All these men uh, rotting to attrition. The AI man is absolutely incompetent. Look at this. They've lost 750,000 men to attrition since I looked last six months ago. They have lost 300,000 men, 400,000, 400,000 men. Mostly to attrition, mind you. Mind you. Like, what are they doing? They are just standing here, taking attrition. Why, though? I do not understand this. I don't understand this. Why are they standing here on Trent, taking 5% attrition? Hey, AI, man. And I'm keeping these guys here on Lorraine, just to make sure that they don't uh, do any funny business. 20% uh, province war score. That is actually going to be super useful for us. All right, let's have you guys head over here. You want to reinforce? Nope. They said nay. Which means we are guaranteed to be able to uh, beat the tar out of this giant doom stack here with a quarter of a million men standing here taking 5% attrition. I think they fixed that, actually. The issue where they kind of stutter step like that. And I'm pretty sure they said they fixed that in the uh, coming update. Thank God for that. I am so excited for Paradox Con next... Uh, well, I don't know when this is coming out, but soon Paradox Con is coming out. And I am excited for it. I am very excited. Excited to be a part of all of that. All right, cool. Let's get up here and uh, beat the tar out of you guys here and come over here and beat the tar out of you guys as well. Aha. Uh -huh. They reinforce with a ton of men. Like you do. All right. That is a lot of men they've got coming in here. I will reinforce and I will flee right on the monthly tick. That way they have to stand there and take 5% attrition with like 400,000 men. That's what you get. You guys are absolutely idiots. A million men to attrition they've lost in this war. They've lost over half of the men that they've lost have been lost to attrition. I don't know, man. Doesn't seem intelligent to me. <laughs> but, uh, all right. All right, all right, all right. Uh, let's have these this army group up over here. Let's have these guys attack. That is... Clap. Clap, clap, clap. No, no, no. 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 Of course they reinforce. It's fine. We should be able to get there in time. Nah, it's a loss still. Damn, bro. Oh, they have no manpower. <laughs> uh, I got a bunch of men standing here on my subject's fort, though. Why are you guys not going home at war? What's that about? Let's have you guys protect trade in Ragusa. Go home at war. All right, let's come on up here. Take back Vienna, I suppose. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. Like, if they... <laughs> They want to sit on this fort for a year and be my guest. Doesn't bother me any. Now, how many ships have we sunk versus had sunk? 11, 165. We've lost 670,000 men. They've lost 2 million. So, 
Safe to say this one is going in our favor. Now, let's see here. Let's have these guys head over here. Obviously, I want to get these guys off my uh, my defensive terrain forts. Yep. Yeah. All right. How did I know it? This is fine. Let's get a general in here. Specifically, a decent general. These guys are going to get reinforced soon rather than later. Very good. Yes, yes, yes. Let's head up here. See if we can get these armies off of Verdun. Oh, my gosh. The AI, like, clicked its brain on and decided to defend the lowlands, I guess. That's crazy. All right, let's get you guys over here. All right. Um, I suppose I could try to start sieging down some forts, but... Oh, my gosh. There's so many men here. If I move my army one one province... Like, look at this. 100,000, 100,000, 100,000, 100,000, 150,000. Like, what in the world, bro? This is actually insane. All these tooltips are crazy as well. All right. They have attacked me here. All right, man. 170,000 men standing here on a level 8 mountain fort. All right. <laughs> they have no... Um, uh, no nothing to uh, lose, I guess. They're fighting evil at all. After all, they want to prevent us from reforming our the Roman Empire. Okay, let's get in here. Let's actually get in there with a the best general we have here. Six six, please and thank you. If they want to reinforce, they can. But uh, yep, it is a guaranteed loss for them. Let's get up here. Reinforce at least for a month or two. They will not be able to do much. I'm sure of that. Let's win the Siege of Trent if I can here. We're going to win the Siege of Vienna. Yes. Very good, yes. Let's uh, beat up on these... Uh, are you are you mercs? I assume you're mercs. All right, very good. We're going to win. We've already sieged down uh, Vienna's capital. Let's give that to Georgia. All right. Now, how far off am I? 74. It is. It is still... Okay, uh, ongoing battles. So, yeah, it just looks like we have to get everybody in the war. Like, well, who, who is in the war that is not in the coalition? So, as far as I can tell, yeah, as far as I can tell, everybody in the war. Yep, I cannot separate piece out a single person in this war. That's wild. All right, here we go. These guys are just recruiting a bunch of mercs. Yeah, they're all mercs. What are you doing? You guys are foolish. You guys are so foolish. All right. Let's start pushing into some some territory. See if we can bait them into, you know. Okay, this is a hills fort. Like this right here, this is really dumb for them to be pushing on. And these guys here can get killed. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The more battles we take and win, the better, right? Now they're yeah. I was gonna say how do I how did I know that was gonna happen? <laughs> I'm gonna dogpile 150,000 men on this fort. All right, let's get a uh, get a siege general over here. Take back Bessarabia. The more land that I occupy over here, the more that I can prevent them from. All right, now I need to see if I can take this province back ASAP. Come on now, come on now, come on now. When will they be out? The 1st and the 15th. I need to get here as soon as possible. All right. Yep, yep, yep. This is fine. I'm going to barrage this and take this back. What that it just did is that trapped these guys here. This 106... Oh, what? Oh, those are very tiny stacks. Dang it. I got excited. All right, let's refill that garrison. And uh, we're going to win Bessarabia. And here they go. They gave up on the lowlands again. So I guess we start occupying some forts over here. And now they're targeting the Balkans here. Let's put you guys on defensiveness. And uh, get an army over here. Get an army over here. There is so many men, Bo. Actually unreal. Look at this. 133, 162, 90... Yeah, there's 100,000 right here. 80,000 between these two provinces. Like, these numbers... 
I did not mean to do this. Oh, son of a biscuit. It's fine. This is a defensive fort, but I need to get a general on you. Uh-huh. Let's go with like a 4-6. Yeah, they're going to reinforce that, no doubt. This might even be a loss for me. Yep, that is... They have 400,000 men on this fort. Dude, paradox. Well, we fixed the AI. Like, yeah, the AI is now more likely to doom stack. And, uh... Int. Int. <laughs> int into you. Like, the, the, this is not sustainable. 150... 1.5 million men to attrition. That's crazy. I have lost uh, 300,000. Which is a lot, mind you. That is a lot. All right. So... Let's refill this garrison here. Get these guys off my fort over here. Niche. No, they're already on the defensiveness here. Britain joined. How did Britain join? How did Britain join, bro? What? Why is Britain in this war? British Succession War. They PU'd... Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Okay. Well. <laughs> yeah, about that one. I don't... I think we just have to uh, take that one on the chin and say, all right, we're not gonna... We're not gonna fight. We actually just need to push them back a few more times and we win. Um... Mole house has been won. Very good. Let's have you guys here. Shift consolidate. This is easy peasy. Let's get uh, this big stack up here. Let's have you guys reinforce. Very good. I do not think you want to reinforce over here. Mm. Let's see if we can catch them. This is like a, a decoy battle to prevent them from reinforcing. Right. Let's uh, detach... Th those guys here have you guys split out over here i just want to flee from this battle as soon as i'm able to to prevent any more losses than is necessary they took crazy losses right there which is awesome and now they have 180,000 men on this fort what in the world bro all right the ugh. yeah them them winning all the these uh, sieges over here is uh, definitely going to be tough on us. The t the, specifically, the sieges in like London. Those are going to be painful. There's still so many men over here. Here you go. Okay, this is Woods. So let's get an army up here on Sealy. You shall not pass. Look at this. Why are you guys doing this? I'm just like, I don't know, man. Maybe this is the first time I've gone this late in the most recent couple of patches. Maybe that's what's going on. But, like, this does not feel intelligent. Like, this AI doesn't feel intelligent. It feels like it's just being stupid and, like, throwing away manpower. Look at this. Look how many men there are here. This is wild. This is so wild. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You know, has got uh, 15 war exhaustion. And uh, the more of these boyos that we occupy, the more war score we will get. Though they are going to get a bit from occupying all this over here. Um, that's fine. None of it is stated. So it's not really going to give me a whole lot of war exhaustion. We're at zero. So that's pretty nice. <laughs> all right. We've won the Siege of Cleves. Let's get you guys over here. Aachen is not in the war. So let's get you guys over here and over here. Win some sieges. Here you go. Everybody gets a general. We've got enough generals to go around. So now these guys are just chilling over here. All right. Uh, they have not taken that back. Perfect. Let's get over here. See you guys down. And then uh, see these guys down over here. They are attacking me with that stack. Okay. They are attacking me with this stack. Doesn't seem intelligent, but uh, they're doing it. All right. Very good. They got stack wipe. Cool. 3.14 million. That is a, a good number. Pi. Okay. They are back over here. They are on the brand fort as well as... What the frick? Why is there... My defensiveness is so bad. Okay. Um. I just... They keep marching so many different men over. I'm just trying to decide... 
how many men they have. This is absolutely wild. I have never seen numbers like this in EU4. Never. This is crazy, bro. All right, let's go with um, Spy Network for sure would be good. Even though I haven't used it like at all. Let's get some Spy Network on you, bro. Let's recall you guys. All right, winning sieges over here. And let's just siege everybody down, baby. Siege them all down. Utrecht has been sieged down as well. It is only a matter of months before I can peace out, I think. I am in awe at how many men there are here. Yep, this is fine. This is a good battle for us to take here. Shift consolidate. This is farmland, so I doubt they're going to reinforce. They're getting off all the forts. This fort will, this fort zone of control will take all that back. Let's have you guys march over here and get these uh, Burgundians off of this fort for some reason. Um, let's finish that up here. Let's go with uh, missionary strength. Sure. Yeah. Look how look how missionary strength oriented we are. Um, That's fine. There is so many men over here. Okay, let's have you guys head up here to reinforce. They are trying to see just fort down, but yeah, that's a that's a pretty good mountains fort, I have to say. Barbarians, London has been looted. Oh no! Whatever will I do? All right, let's get you guys out of here. As a always, take a ten to ones. Let's uh have you guys take half over here, and then we'll do a quick carpet siege down over here. And I reckon we are getting very close. Them, them taking London is painful because it is going to give them quite a bit of war score, but probably not enough to justify them, you know, able to do anything here. Let's have you guys head in here. Let's have these guys force march in. I reckon that is a dub. That is definitely a dub. Get you guys over here and get these guys marched up over here. Let's get you guys in here. Shift consolidate. They are not reinforcing in this battle, which is great. Let's uh, head in over here. We're just going to keep marching back and forth, I guess. Shift consolidate. Uh, they fled off this battle, which is great. I will scorch Bessarabia. Bessarabia is more just like a distraction to like prevent them from, you know, getting into an area of defensive positioning. All right. Let's come on over here then. These guys are going to get ganged up on easy enough. These guys are reinforcing, and I will reinforce as well. Oh, man. Yep. See, like, I lost a 10,000 men, and they lost whatever that is, 50, uh, 55, 60. So, okay. I think things are finally, like, basically done now. I think that the war is over. We have won. We have inflicted unrealistically large casualties on them. They, they're done. They're done now. 20 war exhaustion, 7-7. Seven, seven. Like, the amount of... We have just depopulated Europe. All for two provinces. For two provinces, we have killed 300 and 3.5 million men. Isn't that nuts? And they're still not willing to give it up. Still not willing to give it up. They're not willing. They're going to make us fight for every single freaking inch, man. Like... Oof, come on now. How in the world did you guys take do like no casualties there? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Uh-oh. There's 300,000 men on this army over here. Okay. Well, you guys over here lost the siege of Montgomery. That's okay. 18 reasons. Just that's all I need. So how would we do this? Current peace offer, occupied and besieged provinces, Genoese war exhaustion, war score. Yeah, that's uh, mostly it then. Relative strength of alliance, current peace offer. Result would, yeah. All right. Get you guys out of here. Winning more sieges up here in the north. That is great. As we win more sieges, we are in a better spot yet. All right. Oof. Get these guys over here. Hopefully they do not push me off this fort here. Let's give this one to Georgia. 
give this one to Georgia as well. Scorch this fort here. Give this one to Georgia and scorch it. All right, so this is farmlands in Mole House, but this one here is wood, so this would be a good fight to take for us. Let's get up here. Get ready. Uh, this one here is... Okay, this is woods as well, and this is our own territory. Always take your 10 to 1s. Okay. They got off of that fort over here. All right. They got off Mets as well. So I guess we'll just take the fort, take the fight that's available to us. If they want to reinforce, and they are. All right. We're going to have to... We're going to have to stand and deliver. Oh my gosh, they have so many men. Bro, there's a half a million men on this fort right now. How about you guys be real? Look at that. <laughs> I've lost the siege over here. Oh my gosh. Minus 17. The numbers are just not getting any better for us. They're just kind of staying the same. Very, very annoying. All right, let's get you guys over here. Look at that. There are so many men just standing on these two provinces. So stupid. All right. We've won the Siege of Berg. Dortmund and Munster. Yeah, them sieging down this stuff over here is definitely no good for us. And these guys over here are definitely not helping. Let's make sure we have our uh, defensiveness guys over here. That is useful. And uh, I guess we should probably get these guys off these forts. We have an army over here, so we should probably use them, huh? Now, if I actually take this fort here, I reckon, and get him stuck back here, which would be good for us. Oh, wow. We have really good siege ability, too. Yikes. All right. Um, we've won the siege of Vienna. So that gives us a little bit more war score. 16 reasons. What the heck? Who, who's at war with Muscovy? Also, why is Muscovy over here? Muscovy, Scandinavian imperialist war, huh? All right, man. So Scandinavia is full occupied. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, phew, there's just so many men. Many, 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 many men. All right, we've got a lot of men here, though. I think we could probably we could probably make this happen. Yep, I think they're gonna see how many men I have around, and they will not uh, not fight it. So this is perfect. All right, go ahead and uh, be a silly goose if you'd like. These guys just suicided. Let them talk. Yes, indeed. All right. Perfect. Perfect. And, uh... Okay. I think I'm going to have to handle these rebels because I uh, want the war score for myself. I definitely want that war score for myself. All right. Let's see here. How are you guys doing? Let's win this siege, please, 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 please. Come on, disease outbreak, no fun. I do think if they take this, they will get stuck here. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, how? I'm... All right, we're back. We saved scum garbage like that. There you go. Thank you. And uh, let's head on over here. So these guys should not be able to march past this fort. They should be stuck here. I'm almost positive they are. Um, now, these guys don't have a general, so it'd probably be a good fight to take here. Yeah, they don't have... Oh, they just teleported a general in. They occupy that province, right? I'm being dumb. It's fine. I'll uh, take the fight to them. If they win Shervan, they can get out of here. So I need to try to get them handled sooner rather than later. They've got 100,000 men over here. Very good. And uh, they are just stacking up tons of men over here. So let's get you guys out of there. Um, Let's see if we can win this siege over here. We need to win both these sieges, actually. I don't even have enough men to do it. Yikes. <laughs> All right. Now, how far off am I? I need these two provinces. That's it. 11. 11 reasons. It is so dang close, bro. It is so close. We can do this. We can totally do this. Lads, we can do this. I feel it. We've got the power. We've got the power. We've got the power. All right. Um... All right, let's get you guys over here. We are so, so close, baby. 10. Right, they're probably going to reinforce with a ton of men, but it doesn't really matter. That is good. That is a win. 
Let's get you guys down here. Shift consolidate you. Shift consolidate you. Head on in. They are literally just dogpiling it. Yep. Look at that. Half a million men in one province. Okay. These losses are not good for the war score. They are definitely not good for the war score. 4.1 million men have died. Okay. Let's, um... I'm just trying to not, you know, put too many of my men in arm's way. Yeah, they're defending these. This is Highlands as well, so I... What the heck? Oh, this is a fort here. Right. Um, Can I win this fort? I actually don't know. Probably not. I guess we just try to base race them here. We've got really good siege ability. They're probably going to take it, though. Oh, my gosh. What? Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. That's no good. Oh, man. Okay. We've won the Siege of Dortmund, though, and they have gotten off the lowlands, so we are free to take this all back now. These guys are over here chilling, so let's, uh... They have one quarter of... Like, bro, why do they have so many men over here? This is so silly. This is so incredibly silly. Oh! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine! It's a rounding error, you know? All right. Let's pull these guys back again. Yeah, these battles are no good for us, though. All right. We've won this. No, we haven't won this siege yet. Okay. Win a siege, please. Win the siege, please. Win the siege, please. Win the siege, please. Nope. Okay. So I think this army, these armies are stuck down here. I'm pretty sure they are. All right. Oh, my gosh. There's just so many men. There's a half a million men just standing on these two provinces. Isn't that kind of nuts to think about how, like... How much, um, how many men they have just standing in this like very small area? I think that's crazy. I uh, I have a hard time even kind of contemplating it. All right, let's get you guys down here. We could do both at the same time. Por Candolos dos, you know. Let's force march in here. Attack both. They will reinforce at least one of them. Okay. Quarter of a million men right there. There you go. We won this one. Let's get him out. Okay. Very good. These wins are, are very big for us for war score as well. They've won that siege over here. So let's get you guys down here. That's a 10 to 1. Always take your 10 to 1s. So they're probably going to reinforce, but this is mountains. So I don't think it's going to go well for them. Yep. Very good, very good, very good. Oh, baby. Oh, we wiped them. Okay. Oh, baby. Let's go uh, one reinforcement tick here. Very good. Let's head in over here. Now, this is a big ol'. Yeah. Bring out those extra 10,000 men, right? Now, those guys are going to get stack wiped as well. Yep. Perfect. Okay. It's a big battle right there. Uh, big siege, rather. Yeah, big battle. Uh, let's have you guys force march over here. And uh, let's get over here with you guys. Let's get over here with you guys. I think we're going to do that same thing we just did. We had a bunch of these guys in here. A bunch of these guys in here. We win both of those battles, unless they really want to dogpile, which it doesn't look like they want to. And uh, we are getting quite a bit of war score from battles. 65 battles, we have plus 20 war score. And uh, we're at plus nine still. My gosh. Okay, let's get up here with a general that's got good fire. Yes. You will do good, sir. Let's uh, beat up on you, lads. Let's take Holland. All right. So, these guys are... Pushing for my land, so let's go ahead and get them back out of here. This is a this is a, a big important fort right here. We can't let them pass this. Let's get up to Circassia. Siege that back for my subject here. All right, perfect. Actually, these guys do not have a general, so this is a good fight for us. Yep, perfect, perfect, perfect. 
Oh, that's a wipe. Oh, that's a wipe. Big wipe. Big wipe. Nice. Okay. We've got to be so close. Oh my gosh, we're so close. <sighs> they have so many men. They have so many men. Okay. Like, what do I do? What do I do here for real? Like, there is not counterplay to this. Oh my gosh. Let's do this. If they want to pick a fight, they can pick a fight. All right, that works perfectly. All right, 56. Oh, it's so close. It is so freaking close, man. So close. That's it. That's all they're doing. They're uh they are not touching me anywhere else. They've got the French landed the province over here. All right, man. <laughs> Yeah, if it wasn't for London uh, getting or the the PU, this would be a lot uh, a lot more smooth probably. <laughs> the fact that they are got they got PU'd randomly is uh, detrimental to us to the cause, right? All right, do the same thing here. Send in one army on each army or on each province here. We win both of those. A little bit of extra war score. Thank you. May I have another? Up to twenty four percent, twenty four war score from battles. Two reasons. We are so, so close. So, so close. Let's let these guys head in here and let's uh, force march over here. Need to... Uh... Alright, I'll take that. It's fine. Sounds good to me. Alright. Yeah, I think most of the guys that are involved in this war have uh, since decided that they don't want any more of this. 5.25 million men. Safe to say... They've, uh, they've lost their spunk. They lost their will to fight, right? We're good. Getting raided by pirates. They took Vienna. Oh my gosh. Whatever, bro. They've taken Vienna like four times in this war. Or in this game. Alright, here you go. I will head in. And I will uh, hopefully win. What the heck? There you go. Recruitment time. There we go. More rebels. Imagine that. Minus four now. All right. Let's get these guys off these forts. Very important. They cannot take these forts back. These forts are so important for war score. And uh, that is, yep, yeah, like 300,000 men. All right. Very good. Let's have you guys force march up here. Let's uh, pull back there. Oh my gosh. Won the Siege of Vienna. Very good. All right. Let's get you guys in here. Shift Consolidate, of course. And let's head in with half you guys. And then another half. Hopefully they understand that that is not a win for them. Very good. These guys are landing some men from Scandinavia. So I'll just head on over here and force you to attack me. Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing? You're foolish. They are attacking me here. Why is there so many men, bro? I just don't understand how they're like, oh, how do any of you guys have any manpower left? Z eight, 10,000, zero, zero. Like even we are starting to hurt for manpower, but uh, we're going to wrap this war up today. We have to, I said I was going to, and I, I'm a man of my word, right? We're going to do it. All right. Let's get you guys down here. Let's get you guys down here. All right. Yep, this is fine. Let's get you guys down here. Get you guys down here. We'll do the same thing we've been doing. Do not let them take a fort. Very important. We do not let them take a fort. If I can avoid it. All right, let's have you guys head in here. You guys head in here. Shift consolidate. Shift consolidate. Oh, man, they've got so many men. At least we win one of these battles. Yep, look at that. 400,000 men in that battle. Reasonable. Reasonable indeed. All right. 60 war score, bro. Minus two. Come on, bro. Come on. My goodness. How is this so hard? There's no way this should be so hard. All right. Get these guys out of here. You guys get wiped. Come on now. Get bent, mate. Get bent, mate. Get bent, mate. There you go. A siege down pest. Okay. Let's get 
get these guys out of here. Okay, this is fine. Give them one more monthly tick. Get you guys in here. I lost a battle somewhere. Oh my gosh, bro. Let's get you guys in here. So that way they will not reinforce. We are guaranteed to win. Both of them, 62%. Oh my gosh. We need one more war score. One more. One more war score. That's it. No, it's not enough. It's not enough, bro. It's not enough. All right. Let's see here. Um, How is that not enough? You've got to be kidding me. That's not enough. All right. Let's get you guys down here. Minus one now. Okay. Let's uh, make sure we are getting up here, handling all of their armies. Of course, we don't let them have an army out. You guys definitely need to die. Minus one still. And every little province that they take back is going to give them a little bit of extra war score. Okay, let's get you guys over here. This should be an easy clap. Another 30,000 bite in the dust. They're reinforcing with a ton. They are dogpiling hard. Yep, they're going to dogpile hard enough that they win. Oh, just kidding. They will not. Oh, just kidding. They will. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm getting so frustrated, bro. I'm sick of this. Let me... Minus five now. Like, par there's this is not real. This is not realistic. This is not realistic, man. I just want this war to be over. I just want to wrap up this series. I just want to be done. Okay. This is corny. This is very boring at this point. There is no reason that this would ever make sense. I should not have to do this. The amount of crap that they're putting me through just to take two provinces in the HRE. Minus seven now. Okay. Screw it. I'm gonna pause it. I'll bring you guys back to finish this up. Finally, freaking finally, after 6.57 million men dead on their side, they are finally willing to give me a 17% peace deal because this game is unplayable. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. We're clicking the button. We're going to click the Rome, form the Roman Empire. Well, first of all, we're going to click this button here. Recovered Lombardia. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Triumph for Italy. And then we just need to state up Roma. Oh my gosh. Piss me off so much, man. All right, there we go. Restore the Roman Empire. Of course, we take our new we new our new traditions. They are uh, great, and uh, there you go. You can see here we get um, discipline, legitimacy, national manpower modifier, which is great. <laughs> we already have lots, but we're gaining twelve point three. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, we now get uh, national unrest, diplo rep. stab cost, uh, land force limit, and infantry combat ability production efficiency. Tax and admin efficiency. Oh, I didn't know you got admin efficiency as the Roman Empire. That's solid. And then uh, CCR, 25%. So it's actually like 30% CCR then. That's a... Wow, you got CCR as well as AE? I didn't know that, actually. That uh, makes Roman Empire, like, better than I thought, actually. <laughs> All right, cool. So ideas, we want religious quantity trade. Great opening moves for Byzantium, or basically any nation that is orthodox, that has a decent trade node, like a Muscovy is really good for religious quantity trade opener. Uh, influence, admin, uh, coring, offensive for sieges, quality for to win battles because I was sick of losing everything, and Diplo just because, you know, diplomats and war school, province war score costs and all that stuff as well. That is fine. Okay. We are everything. Everything is orthodox except for these two provinces. And as far as culture goes, it is mostly, mostly Roman. You love to see that, don't you, boys? Oh, my gosh. It moves our capital over here to Roma as well. But, uh, man, that was a fun one. That last uh, war, that last war was incredibly annoying. I I cannot even comprehend how annoying that was. Let's take a look at uh, army losses. I don't usually look at that, but army losses total. We have lost 10 million men throughout this campaign. We lost like two point something in that last one, I think. Uh, most mostly in battle, 5.6 million in battle, and then uh, five million into attrition. You can see here the Commonwealth has lost 3.4 million to attrition. Then Burgundy has lost three million in the war in the game. Britain lost 2.7, France 2.7, Muscovy 2.5, Brazil 2.5, Spain 2.4, and Bengal apparently over here losing all kinds of men. Let's take a look at what's going on over in India. 
There you go. Uh, Muscovy looked terrible, Border Gore. Shun is uh, most of China. The Emperor is Ming still. So there you go. Japan is united and Korea looks good. Southeast Asia, Brazilian, Australia. All right. Africa over here. Oh, Bengal is actually very beefy. Bengal looks good. Uh, Gujarat, Jambor, Delhi, and Sindh. Jolof, Congo, Kilwa, and then Brazilian, South Africa. Very good. South America is Brazil. And then a couple of uh, uh, Spanish slash French colonies. One British colony over here is French Mexico. Very solid. Pacifico Norte in Cal uh, California over here. And then the 13 colonies, Newfoundland and British Louisiana, as well as Spanish Louisiana. The uh, Brazil owns the uh, colonial territory over here in uh, the Caribbean as well. All right, cool. Well, let's take a look at our time lapse here. This video has already been quite long, so we're going to wrap this up. But you can see here we had our first war where we took uh, this province here and then we attacked the Ottomans. Uh, we were not in a huge rush. We were kind of waiting for them to attack Kandar. I think Kandar is who they attacked. And then we went to war over here with them, blockaded them, took the provinces we needed. We released Bulgaria from these guys, uh, reconquered a bunch of land for Bulgaria, and then attacked them immediately after. Uh, we, we truce broke them and, and it took basically everything we could there, like within minutes. So it was really, really solid opener. Uh, that was, again, that was Chaotic Florius on YouTube. So I recommend you check him out. Around this time, Poland is uh, starting to get pretty beefy. I think uh, they they might have went Hussite, if I recall. Bohemia went Hussite. I'm pretty sure they did the Spanish Reformation. They got a bunch of Hussite provinces. And then they flipped Catholic or Protestant. I believe that's what happened. But around this time is when we finally got into India. Or Italy. <laughs> India. Italy, <laughs> and then into here. Now, the reason why I took these provinces was to cut the Mamluks off, because the Mamluks love taking these freaking provinces. Serbia was a subject as well. We used them to beat up on Hungary. Also, Wallachia was a hung was subject at this time as well. Big chunk out of the Ottomans here. And um, we were just kind of biding our time, taking what we could when we could. Around this time, we annexed Bulgaria, I believe, and Serbia. And, okay, Wallachia grows. Serbia was a march for a while. Oh, no, no. Serbia got beat up, and now is the time that I subjugated Serbia. We took a big chunk out of the Ottomans here, and now those borders are starting to look really good. And around this time, yep, I was going to say we had our first war with Venice. We were definitely searching for an opportunity to go to war with Venice. We attacked uh, took, uh, Genoa's provinces over here, and these guys are absolutely getting massive. We managed to snag Crimea, and uh, meanwhile, we're just, you know, the Ottomans are gone. We're just kind of getting a couple of provinces here and there. Serbia has been reconquested. Georgia is doing good, but they're on. They're independent at this time. Um, let me see here. Where do we go from here? I think we have our first major war with the Mams. Yep, big war with the Mams and Caraman. Ate up all of them and uh, started. we released a uh, Syrian subject. It's a very good subject to release. Over here, we attacked all that, released a Bosnia. Same with Transylvania. And um, around that time, oh, I think Transylvania was a subject. I might be wrong. The time lapse doesn't show it very well all the time. Here you go. We reconquered a ton of land for Syria um, in a war with the Mamluks. And now you can see we are big now. Byzantium looking very good. Um, and then we got into Corsica as well. And uh, we just we ate the Pope Man. And this is around the time we did the Pentarchy. And a bunch of people flipped to uh, from Catholic over to, look at this, Castile, Spain. Uh, everybody flipped over from um, uh, Catholic to Orthodox. It was really funny. I don't know exactly when it happened. I think it was around this time. But uh, anyways, we were annexing our subjects. And meanwhile, we're just making our way, just punching through to North America. You love to see that. I know I definitely do. Albania, our little attack dog here, he was a subject and he was a great march. Around, around this time, we, uh, we vassalized Georgia as well. And uh, reconquered some land from them and made them our march. And we annexed our attack dog, Albania. Um, now we kicked uh, Spain out of these areas over here. And around this time, I think is when I subjugate uh, Genoa or Georgia, not Genoa. I'm being dumb. Uh, and then, yes, yeah, so AE was clearly starting to tick up here, especially when we were up in this area. This is when we started really struggling with AE. And we had a couple of major wars with the Commonwealth around this time. Um, and whenever you'll see, we take, took Crimea from them. So we got more land over here. And around this time, we took Crimea from them. That was like our major thing. We reconquered a bunch of land for Georgia and then took Crimea. Uh, got into southern uh, Iberia over here and uh, all the way took all of Venice. So this is working through our mission tree, of course. And then um, let's see here. I think this was our major war with the Commonwealth because it took a while. It took like 15 years. There you go. Actually, just a big chunk over here. Uh, all of Tuscany in one big fell swoop. And then a touch. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, these wars with Milan were absolutely slugfests. Milan was like... Yeah, that was a tough war right there. When we took over that state, that was a tough war. Um, and and again, we snaking up here. This is when we got um, 
I think we had France intervened or somebody intervened or something like that. Um, can't remember. It was it was annoying though. And now, yep, there you go. Now we've uh, we subjugate Georgia. We we absolutely just kicked Spain out of Iberia. Um, we subjugate Georgia and we take out there's a, there are Jami cores as well as taking a bunch of land over here. I remember because we wanted the trade power from over there. Yep, right here, Byzantine Caucasia, very solid. Uh, France was our ally for a long time. We used them to beat up on these guys here. Like we just kicked Milan. We we exiled them up to sweet um, uh, Switzerland, Sw Sweden, Switzerland. Same thing, right? And uh, there you go. That was our war with the Commonwealth. We took Crimea and re refed Georgia a bunch of lands, and they were a really good march for us to have. Um, and now we we stole Savoy, who was their subject, and then we turned on France, ate all of France in two wars. If you can believe that, uh, this was around the time we had that massive war with Burgundy. We ate Burgundy or uh, Brittany. Took everything we needed from Burgundy to form the Roman Empire. And uh, meanwhile, Britain broke alliance with us. So we attacked Portugal, beat the tar out of them, attacked France, ate them, kicked them out of the, the metropolitan France out of here. And then we attacked Great Britain and we took everything we needed, right? And then we had a we had a war over here with Hormuz. It was a bit of a slugfest, but we took what we needed to form the Roman Empire, Took attacked the Mamluk, or tech Tunis, because Mamluks was in our coalition, took what we needed there and... Uh, and um, Took everything we needed from the Mamluk, separate piece them, annex Tunis just for good measure, and then attacked into the HRE and had the most massive war I have ever fought in my life in this whole game. I have never fought a war like that. I kind of can't believe how long it took and how many men needed to die for them to finally go away. Coalitions are broken. They need reformed. They need fixed. Coalitions are just like, they make the game unplayable. It is, that was so stupid. <laughs> but either way, guys, this run was fun. Take a look at that Roman culture, man. Mm -mm -mm, look at that. Lost cultures. We got Anglo-Saxon, Aramaic, Athenian, Atlantean. <laughs> but uh, yeah, as you can see here, it is a it is Iron Man. This is an Iron Man mate game. We had a lot of fun today well, over the last couple of weeks. If you did, guys, make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe for more because there's tons. If you're not subscribed by now, I don't know what I got to do to get you to subscribe. I work every day for you guys to have these videos, so I hope that you uh, would subscribe and enjoy them with me. Uh, if you want to support me on Patreon, you get early access to my Tubert vids. And if you want to join my Discord, my subreddit, or my Twitter, those are all linked in the description below the video. And um, yeah, I just I want to thank you. If you made it all the way to the end of this series and you're listening to me right now, thank you. Truly, you're awesome. I'm really glad to have you here. I really hope you enjoyed. And if you did, leave a comment down below. Say, hey, I made it to the end. All right. That's all I got for you for today, guys, though. This is, uh, this is uh, what are we, what's our title here? Imperator. Should we shoot? And I will catch you guys later.